This is why you should take the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. This video is sponsored by Coursera. Hi, my name is Sandra, and having worked in cybersecurity for four years as a security analyst, this video is going to be a deep dive into the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and why I think it's one of the best beginner-friendly, no experience required programs out there for beginners who are trying to get into cybersecurity. First things first, let's start with a high level of what the program actually is about. Going straight to the program overview, this program is provided on Coursera with more than 180,000 already enrolled with a 4.9 star rating from almost 7,000 reviews. It's meant for beginner level learners who don't have any previous experience in cybersecurity. This program will teach you the foundations of what you'll need to start and build your foundational cybersecurity knowledge. You can complete the program in six months with seven hours a week, but this program is also based on your own flexible schedule. So you're able to learn at your own pace, which makes it an even better option for those of you who are looking for a program that is flexible, or maybe you wanna complete it faster than six months or space out the program to suit your schedule and needs. And as I've alluded to, Google is the program instructor and that personally is probably one of the biggest things to highlight with Google being one of the biggest tech companies in the world. You'll be learning directly from cybersecurity experts at Google with the experience and scope that they can provide. It'll help prepare you to gain in-demand skills that are needed on the job for roles like SOC analysts, security analysts, and other junior entry-level cybersecurity roles. At a high level, you'll be learning foundational cybersecurity practices, how to protect networks, devices, people, and data from unauthorized access and cyber attacks, using SIM tools, identifying common risk threats and vulnerabilities, as well as ways to mitigate them, and finally getting hands-on experience using Python, Linux, and SQL. Personally, what I would look for in a beginner level cybersecurity program is a combination of two things. One, specifically the foundational knowledge that you'll gain, and then two, the hands-on experience, labs, projects that you'll also be working on. This program has both of those things, which personally already puts it towards the top of my list. If I was on the market for a no experience cybersecurity program, and many of these are also the tools and skills that I would recommend learning if you're just starting out. Using SIEM tools and learning how to identify and mitigate risks and vulnerabilities are simply going to be one of the most common roles that cybersecurity analysts and SOC analysts are going to be doing on the job. This along with learning Python, Linux, and SQL will also put you a cut above the rest, specifically Python for any scripting that you may be doing, whether it's to automate something or even to review someone else's Python code. Linux by far, definitely one of the first skills that you should learn, especially if you're interested in information security, anything related to networking. It'll also be very beneficial if you're interested in going into ethical hacking or red teaming or pen testing because Kali Linux is one of the most popular distributions for ethical hackers and not to mention all the Linux servers that companies run their applications and websites on. And finally, in terms of SQL. Personally, I think this is one of the most interesting learning points that I think was put onto the certification program, but SQL is one of the most popular acquiring languages out there. And if you are going into an SOC analyst role, a security analyst role, you're likely going to be using a tool like an SEM where you'll personally be writing a lot of queries. Learning SQL early on, which is relatively beginner friendly, there are definitely more advanced SQL concepts and commands out there. But if you're just a beginner and learning the basics of this querying language, it'll definitely be very beneficial for you when you actually start using this on the job and your team asks you to look for all the requests from the last 30 days that may have XYZ tag or label with specific event logs created by a specific user. You'll then probably go onto your organization's SIEM tool to look for the specific information. And while it may not necessarily be exactly the same as SQL, it really does give you that hands-on experience so that you do know what to expect when you're asked to do something like that, which will be pretty common when you start your first role as a cybersecurity or SOC analyst. The program also helps you prepare for a career in cybersecurity by allowing you to create portfolio-ready projects along with professional level training from Google, earn an employer recognized certificate, as well as average cybersecurity stats, which includes the median US salary for cybersecurity at $100,000 per year, with 213,000 US job openings in cybersecurity, and a 75% of certificate graduates reporting a positive career outcome. You'll also get exclusive access to resources like resume reviews, along with LinkedIn with personalized feedback, interview prep where you can practice your skills with interactive tools and complete mock interviews along with career support using Coursera's job search guide. Once you complete the program, you'll be connected with 150 plus employers who are U.S. hiring organizations in Google's employer consortium. 
This includes companies like Google, Salesforce, Adobe, Wells Fargo, and more. So now let's dive a little bit deeper. This is an eight course series with no degree or experience required, where they teach you the foundations of cybersecurity as well as getting hands-on experience working on cybersecurity projects with training designed and delivered by Google cybersecurity experts. Another huge plus is the fact that the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate also helps prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification, and you'll earn a dual credential when you complete both. Personally, the CompTIA Security Plus certification is the one that I took when I was in my first year as a cybersecurity analyst in a cybersecurity rotational program. There are also no required years of experience for the certification. Once you take and pass your CompTIA Security Plus certification, you also receive a dual credential. I think having the CompTIA Security Plus certification on my resume was one of the things that really helped me stand out when I was applying for my second role as a cybersecurity analyst. So I really do think that this is a win-win. The program also includes 170 hours of instruction, assessments, labs, and activities that simulate real-world cybersecurity scenarios. This includes a mix of video, assessments, hands-on labs, as well as the cybersecurity tools, platforms, and skills that you'll be using in an entry-level role. This probably sounds like one of the most exciting parts of the program because the certification program is designed and created by Google cybersecurity experts, which likely has a lot of experience working through very interesting and unique types of cybersecurity scenarios. You'll definitely be able to gain a lot of experience and be able to learn from the experiences of your cybersecurity experts to take into any future projects or real-world scenarios that you encounter in the future. The eight courses included in this certificate program include Foundations of Cybersecurity by Managing Security Risks, Connect and Protect, Networks and Network Security, Tools of the Trade, Linux and SQL, Assets, Threats and Vulnerabilities, Detection and Response, how to automate cybersecurity tasks with Python, and finally preparing for cybersecurity jobs. Each of these courses focuses on a specific skill set in cybersecurity, from technical skills like the Linux and Python to the basics of what to expect on the job, including the vulnerability management. They have a specific section also dedicated to Python, which personally I am a huge fan of. One of my biggest recommendations for anyone who is going into tech, even if you're not going to be a software developer, learning foundational coding or scripting skills is one of the best ways to keep your skills sharp. And even as a cybersecurity analyst, there may be times where you're looking at someone else's code, there may be times when you have to automate something, write a script for someone, and learning this early on in your career makes it a whole lot easier in the future for when you may need to pick up another coding language or scripting language like JavaScript. And knowing Python scripting is definitely going to benefit you in your career because you may be able to work on more technical projects as well as be able to connect directly with development teams, which as a cybersecurity analyst, you have a high chance of interacting with, especially when there may be a vulnerability in your code, a finding that a SAS or DAS scan has provided and it just makes the whole process a whole lot a whole lot more seamless if you're able to directly communicate with developers because you have those basic coding and scripting skills. And finally the last section of the course, course number eight, is preparing for the job. This includes things like determining how to escalate a security incident, engaging with cybersecurity communities, finding and applying for cybersecurity jobs, and preparing for job interviews. So now it's come to the point where you've learned the skills, you've completed the projects, and you have the foundational knowledge that you need to be in an entry-level cybersecurity role. And now it's really all about the application process. After completing the program, you'll have access to Google Job Board, which includes access to 150 companies and will really use their career support to your advantage when it comes to resume reviews, mock interviews specifically, probably going to be a really important one, especially for cybersecurity interviews where they can ask you any question under the sun because cybersecurity is such a broad field so you definitely want to be as prepared as possible for those cybersecurity interviews i do have some videos on cybersecurity interview prep if you guys want to check that out in the description sign up to enroll for a seven day free trial of the google cybersecurity professional certificate you can click on the link in my description to learn more some key points that separate the google cybersecurity professional certificate from other programs include the fact that it can be completed in six months at seven hours per week with a flexible schedule. This program is also meant to prepare you for an entry-level job in six months with no prior experience or degree needed. This program is also completed 100% online and self-paced. So after sharing all of this, your question might be, how much does this certificate cost? Based on their FAQ, in the US and Canada, Coursera charges $49 per month after the initial seven day free trial period. The certificate can be completed in less than six months at under 10 hours per week. So most learners complete the certificate for less than $300 USD. In other countries where Google career certificates are available, your cost may be lower. 
So if you looked at other certificate programs, you know that this is an awesome price, especially for self-paced learning. For example, if you did more than seven hours per week, let's say double it to 14 hours per week of studying, and you were to complete this program in three months instead of six months, along with your seven day free trial, the cost of this certificate program will be around $150, which personally I think is a huge deal for having this Google Star Security Professional Certificate on your resume. Alright, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to sign up for your 7 day free trial of the Google Star Security Professional Certificate using the link in my description below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if it was helpful to you. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12pm. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.